Hi, welcome to Reading with Ms. Momo and Storytime with Momo. Today we have a real special treat. This is going to be a tribute to grandparents, to grandmothers really. And I have three special grandchildren that I just love. And so I hope that they'll enjoy this book. But one of my grandmother friends from Hattiesburg asked me to read this book. And so I'm just so excited about sharing it with you. And I hope that you enjoy it. It's a pretty fun book. The name of it is The Napping House. It's by Audrey Wood and the illustrations are by her husband, Don Wood. And they grew up knowing that they wanted to be an author and illustrator as young children. Isn't that exciting? There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed, and a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on every page, there's going to be a flea. And there's the flea. You have to look at it. And there's Granny sleeping and... The child sleeping, the dog and the cat are sleeping. Everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And there's the flea. And look, the little boy, the little child is getting up. And she's just snoring away. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. There's the flea, the cat, the dog is starting to get up, the granny and the little boy. And everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog a dozing dog on a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house while everyone is sleeping. There's the flea, the cat starting to get up, and the dog, and the child, and the granny. Granny has turned over now. She's really gone to sleep. And on that dog, there is a cat. A snoozing cat on a dozing dog on a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And there's the flea. It's moving. And look, the cat, the dog, the child, the granny. And now she's hanging off the bed snoring. <laughs> and on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, and a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And look, there's the flea. It's moved over. And the cat, and the dog, and the child, and the granny, and granny has moved again. She just keeps moving. I think maybe she's uncomfortable to you. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be? A wakeful flea on a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is asleep. And look, there's the flea on the mouse, on the cat, on the dog, on the child, on the granny. And now she's put her feet up. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. Look, the mice went, yeah! And there's the flea, but the cat and the dog and the child and the granny are still asleep. Who claws the dog? The cat's clawing the dog, and they're up in the air. Here goes the mouse, and there's the flea. But look, the child and the granny are still sound asleep. who thumps the child, oh my goodness, there's the child going in the air, the dog's going in the air, the cat's in the air, the mouse is over here, and there's the flea on Granny now. But Granny is still asleep. Can you believe it? 
who bumps the granny. Oh my goodness, look, they're all in the air. Everybody's everywhere. The cat, the dog, the child, the granny, the mouse, and there's the flea. Who breaks the bed. Oh my goodness, they broke the bed. But look, granny's smiling, she's not angry. And the child is so happy and is in the air. And the dog is going, and there's the cat, and there's the mouse. But where, oh, where is that flea? Do you see the flea? There it is up in the air. And everybody's so happy. They're not, e Granny is not even upset. In the ha napping house, now no one is sleeping. And look at the beautiful rainbow. And Granny has come outside and they're all playing together. And there's the flea on the fence post. And they're having a happy, happy day. I hope that when you talk about your granny with your parents and, and or with your grandparents, talk about what they did with their grandparents and share. That's what we need to be doing with each other is communicating and talking and sharing about what we did in our lives growing up with our grandparents. I hope that you have a great day. Hug your grandparents and tell them that you love them. Send them a note or give them a call or FaceTime them. Grandparents love you and I know that you love your grandparents. And until we meet again, smile and be happy and have a wonderful day. God bless.